today we say to those who lost their lives last year during the mandamano 75 of them we say to the 41 gen z's who lost their lives and they're all very young from rex who was 29 that we buried in machakos the other day to kennedy onyango who was only 12 years and who took almost eight bullets and this system keeps changing the story but kenyans saw a little boy of 12 years whose body was riddled with bullets and who died at the hands of our police we are here to commemorate these deaths but also to salute the freedom fighters these young agencies 41 of them are heroes just like the freedom fighters of our first liberation who got the colonial government out of place freedom fighters of the second liberation who went on Saba Saba day and got the Nyayo system out and who said Moi must go and Moi went today we hear these young heroes saying Ruto must go and Ruto will go we have no doubt about that. It's a matter of time. We know he's trying to panel beat his government, to put some very cosmetic changes, to form task forces. We must thank the Law Society of Kenya for rejecting, to be lured into a system of cleansing an already failed regime. Let us listen to the voices of the millions of kenyans who are saying ruto must go and ensure ruto goes as as Mio, we want to assure them that we stand with them their cause is our cause we have listened to our parliamentarians speak and even followed debate in our senate and we had some of the our parliamentarians say blood was shed on the hallowed grounds of parliament and that parliament needs cleansing. Senator Wambua, the only way we can cleanse our parliament is by acknowledging that what happened was a vote of no confidence in the parliament of Kenya. And when the people went in and took the mess, they took back their power. They exercised their constitutional right under Article 1. And parliament stands impeached. The only way to cleanse this parliament is to ensure that we have an IBC in place, and that's why I agree with His Excellency that Ruto should sign the uh, assent to the IBC bill so that we reconstitute IBC and prepare for a fresh election where this parliament should seek fresh mandate. And uh, Ruto must realize that he and his government no longer enjoys the confidence of the people of the Republic of Kenya. So on this Sabah Sabah day, we want to urge our agencies and all those who believe in this cause that uh, the mission is not done until Zakayo Ashuki.